Ah, but evil always contains the seeds of its own destruction. No matter how well planned, how foolproof an evil plan, no matter how apparently successful it may seem upon the way, in the end, it will founder on the rocks of iniquity and vanish. Everyone stretches the truth a bit in memos to head office, you know that. Yes, but you told them you invented the Spanish Inquisition. An American diplomat. Really? As if Armageddon were a cinematographic show you wish to sell in as many countries as possible. Oh, they just say get up there and make some trouble. Well, obviously, you're a demon. It's what you do. You've lost the boy. We've lost you. A child has been lost, but no more. Fascinating little restaurants where they know you. Well, that was fun. Well, yes, fun for you. Look at the state of this coat. Oh, please. No. Dreadful mistake discorporating me. Oh, it'll be a complete nightmare. What, what, what the hell did you just do? Rather good organization. Flawless. It should have worked. It's ineffable. The great plan's ineffable. Exactly. It is beyond understanding and incapable of being put into words. Excuse me, ma'am. We're two supernatural entities just looking for the notorious son of Satan. Wonder if you might help us with our inquiries. Is that you, Ron? Ron? Not Ron. <laughs> Definitely not. Got any better ideas? Or one single better idea? Oh, good lord. Something smells evil. Oh, that'll be the Geoffrey Archer books, I'm afraid. Mm. Crowley, he's got a gun. He's pointing it. Oh, it's not really doing it for me. It's a bit too mm -hmm. squirming your feetish. We were a snake. So what is it now? Mephistopheles? Asmodeus? You cannot actually be suggesting what I infer or implying. No, we're not giving her a lift. Out of the question, there's nowhere to put the bike. Except for the bike rack. Do get in, my dear. Crowley! I am the nice one. You can't expect me to do the dirty work. We will win, of course. You really believe that? Obviously. Heaven will, finally triumph over hell. It's all going to be rather lovely. I don't suppose that anywhere in the nine circles of hell there's such a thing as a rubber duck. I thought I'd try Petronius's new restaurant. I hear he does remarkable things to oysters. Oh, no blood on your hands. That's a bit holier than thou, isn't it? Well, I am a great deal holier than thou. That's the whole point. Wasn't that touching? <clears throat> Right, well, uh, lovely to meet you all. Out! Don't you all not disapprove of guns? Yeah, unless they're in the right hands. Then they give weight to a moral argument. I think. And then you turn up. Late for Armageddon. No flaming sword. Not even a body, you pathetic excuse for an angel! Well, I suppose I am, really. I mean... I have no intention of fighting in any war. You monster! Seducing women to do your evil will. Oh, I think perhaps you've got the wrong shot. You weren't by any chance a nun here at this convent 11 years ago, were you? I was. Luck of the devil. So you just popped across the channel during a revolution because you wanted something to nibble? Dressed like that? I have standards. <laughs> So we tell our respective operatives to look for the boy. Unless you have a better idea. You can't kill me. There'll be paperwork. You're so clever. How can somebody as clever as you be so stupid? I forgive you. Where is he? Who? Some southern pansy. I heard him making lewd suggestions. Not just a southern pansy, Sergeant. The Southern Pansy. You're the demon. I'm the nice one. I don't have to kill children. <laughs> and now she's going to tell you that this building is surrounded by British agents and that you two have been 
Oh, what is that lovely American expression? Played for suckers. Oh, Lord. Michael! Dude, do this quick miracle, will you? I need a bath towel. Ma'am! I'm giving you all five seconds to vacate this area! if I buy you lunch. Looking on that. <sighs> well, at least we know whose fault it is. Do you believe in life after death? I suppose I must do. Yeah. Well then. Welcome to the end times.